Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install BuildCraft for your Minecraft uh, any version. So this is an actually in current version of Minecraft 1.5.1. Um, so I'm very happy to announce I just looked. Um, it well actually you know posted three days ago, so April 13th here, and it is April 16th. Anyway, getting to the point. Um, I'm very happy to announce that Minecraft for BuildCraft is uh, updated. So if you guys click on the link in the description for BuildCraft, um, for this will be for any version. So it's currently in one, Minecraft 1. Um, so it's uh, in currently 1.5.1. So yeah, again, um, I never changed the titles to my videos because uh, there's so many little kids that do that. Anyway, if the title says for your current version of Minecraft, which is 1.5.1 right now, um, it's going to work for that version because I'm just going to check it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm never going to move the title to anything different unless it is compatible with uh, that current version of Minecraft. Buildcraft is updated. So Anyway, to get started, if you guys click on the link in the description for BuildCraft, it's going to take you right to this website. You're going to scroll all the way down here. You're going to see this BuildCraft uh, for right here. You're going to want to click on that, and it's going to see uh, right here, download, download it, and save it to your desktop uh, just like this uh, right here. So it's going to look like a Java file, an executable Java file right there. So once you guys have that downloaded and saved there, um, the second thing you guys are going to need is Minecraft Forge. Now there will be a link in the description for Minecraft Forge, and uh, you're going to want to always download the very top version, and that will be, will be for your current version, most updated to Minecraft. And you're going to want to download the universal version right there, download and save that to the desktop just like that. Now the third thing I'm going to ask you guys to download is Optifine. Optifine is not actually required for this mod, but it is a really great mod um, to help you guys out with lag. Um, so if you guys are having problems with the lag, you guys can download that. Now um, I have linked this too in the description, so you guys can click on that. And uh, I would just recommend the doing the Ultra one. Um, but again, it is not required. So if you guys have issues with Optifine or you guys don't want to, um, that is perfectly fine. Now just download it here, download that, and save it to your desktop just like that. So once you guys have got all those things downloaded, the um, next thing I'm going to ask you guys to do is go to Minecraft, um, go to Options, Force Update Your Game, click Done, and Log In. Now the reason why we're Force Updating my game is because... I don't want to get a black screen. Now, if you guys are getting a black screen, it's probably because you didn't force update and you guys already had mods installed. So if you guys have mods installed, I don't know if those mods are actually compatible with Buildcraft or Minecraft Forge. Now, quick note, if you guys are using Mod Loader or a cracked Minecraft, like if you guys have not the real version of Minecraft, um, you guys are going to have problems with Forge. Now, if you guys, um, like I said, if you guys have Mod Loader installed, um, it, Minecraft Forge is not compatible with Mod Loader, so that's a big one. Do not have Mod Loader installed. Um, but I always recommend uh, backing up your Minecraft, so saving an extra copy of it. Um, yeah, and making sure you guys force update when when trying out new mods. So once you guys have Minecraft uh, my, uh, force updated, you're going to click done on Minecraft. So just make sure Minecraft is closed when always installing mods um, after you guys have force updated. So once you guys are done uh, downloading all those things, you guys have force updated, you guys are ready to start. Now, if you guys see this percent after percent in the very bottom there, you're going to want to go to start, and you're going to type in to start percent a p p d a t a. That's percent app data and another percent. Now you're going to see this roaming folder in the very top here. You're going to click on that roaming folder there, and you guys are going to see this dot Minecraft folder in the very top. So you're going to want to open that dot Minecraft folder. You're going to see bin resources and saves here. You're going to want to open the bin folder. And you guys are going to see this Minecraft executable jar file right here on the bottom. Now, if you guys just try to open it, not going to let you so you just right click on it and open it with WinRAR um, it is going to allow you so um, if you guys don't already have WinRAR installed um, there will be a link in the description so you guys can download it and install it from there now um, I do you can use 7-zip also so but I use WinRAR for my installation so that's how I always use it um, but yeah again you guys can use 7-zip if you guys want to so once you guys have minecraft.jar open with WinRAR you're going to see this meta in folder here you're going to want to right click on meta inf and you guys are going to want to delete those files there and push yes. Now the reason why we're deleting that meta inf is because if you don't, um, you you will get a black screen and uh, your mods. Basically, what meta inf does it doesn't allow your mods to run. I'm not even sure why they don't have it in there. So anyway, uh, make sure you guys delete that meta inf there. And the uh, next thing you guys are going to want to do is is the open Minecraft uh, Forge Universal. So you're going to want to drag that right over there. Um, and you're going to see this meta inf folder there also. But that is actually part of Forge. So you're going to want to leave it. You want to select all. Um, so just right click and select all there. You're going to want to drag all these files from the Forge right into the Minecraft.jar just like that. And you're going to want to push OK. And you guys can close Forge. Now the, um, the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to install is Optifine. So if you just open Optifine just like that. Um, again, it's not required for this mod. So if you don't feel like installing it, that is perfectly fine. Um, but I do recommend it. So if you just right click here, select all, 
and drag all these files right into this uh, minecraft.jar push ok and you guys are done with optifine so you can close optifine and you guys can also close the minecraft.jar the or that you open with the nurse so you close that but you guys are not done yet so you have to click back here um where you guys open the minecraft right here you want to click back where you see bin resources and saves again so once you guys are back here um if you guys are actually lost you guys don't know where i'm at um how, how we got to this was percent after percent here and then we went to the roaming folder and then we went to the dot minecraft so this is where we see bin resources and saves here you're going to want to create a new folder and you want to call this folder mods mods all under caps push enter now you guys are going to open this mods folder and you're going to want to make sure this folder is empty now if you guys didn't force update and you guys already have mods in here make sure you just delete all those mods and put them right into the recycling bin and you guys can drag this build craft right into this folder that is empty and you can close that and you guys are completely done with installation and you guys are ready to play buildcraft for your version of minecraft now i hope this uh tutor tutorial helped you guys out uh, a like would be greatly appreciated i always like it when you guys like my videos um i hope this helped you guys out if you guys are getting a black screen uh, make sure you guys force update make sure you guys follow this video exactly like i show you and uh, yeah, you guys should be perfectly fine. Um, again, uh, Forge is not compatible with Mod Loader, so if you guys are having problems there, that's probably why. Um, but yeah, my best, my, most of my advice is just to force update and follow this video exactly like I show you. Um, I hope, uh, again, I hope this video helped you guys out. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to be part of the Blaze Army, um, make sure you guys are subscribed. And I do a lot of mod installs, a lot of mod reviews on my channel. And uh, hopefully you guys like these kind of things. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.